Welcome back to Wonder Arm, everybody. We've got a crazy segment in store for you. It's going to bug a lot of you, I'm sure. We're here with Animal Handlers Cat Long and John Tarrant. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Thank you. In fact, I recruited my good friend Nate because I'm a little nervous about this segment and I need some moral support because this is crazy. What do we have today? We are going to see some very creepy, crawly critters. Oh my It'll God. Be a little surprise for you guys. You like surprises? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, you got any good bug jokes? I know you got tons of jokes. Um, I have tons of jokes, but not really any bugs. I got one for you. What's the last thing that goes through a bug's mind when it hits the windshield? Oh, yeah, I remember this one. It's butt. It's butt? That's exactly right. Yeah. Hey, do you have any good jokes or just going to scare us to death? We have some great things to share with you. What do you have here? Well, here you see what looks like spiders, but they're actually the shell of a spider. But we have some live things that we're going to share with you. Oh. Now, these strange looking insects, do you know what these are? Yeah, it's actually a stick insect. Now, if you put your hand out, I'm going to let you, you, let you this, hold bud? one of these guys if you want to. Oh, it's so scary. You, you want to put it on your face? Or? No, <laughs> yeah. please no, please no. no. Okay, okay. Now, this is, uh, this is the boy. This is uh, Stickton. Say hi to Stickton, oh my guys. Goodness. Oh, man, that's not a stick bug. Believe it or not, they're the same kind, but this oh, is the are? girl. This is Stictoria. Oh. Say hi to Stictoria. Look she's at got that a, beauty. Got... Oh, my goodness. Now, a few creatures have better camouflage than a stick insect. Some of them actually do look oh. like a stick or a twig. These almost look more like a curled leaf, don't they, guys? Yeah. That is so oh, no. cool, and it's so like creepy. I know. And, well, they're not going to bite. They just oh. chew on leaves and things like that, so they're harmless. Yeah. But they're amazing creatures, and the way they blend in, <laughs> they do it so well, other creatures don't even notice them in the forest. Yeah. These actually come from Australia. We have some other interesting creatures, too. Yeah. They're cockroaches. Oh, and they're called lovely. Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Oh boy, and I wonder how they got that name. I don't know. So John, you could take those out. Now these are not the typical ones you see maybe in the streets or in dirty restaurants or something like that. These are from Madagascar, which is an island oh off of goodness. Africa. They have no oh wings, so they don't fly. They don't bite. Some people think they make great, great pets. Those are, are the fast? great ones to hold. Do they hold. move around? I mean, could they run off the table and be gone? Uh, run up in the crowd, maybe? They can. They actually go worry. So I think we're safe. we got good animal handlers today. But if you're quiet, let's see if we could hear them hiss. Can you hear that, Nate? They're going to sing to us. And... Oh, listen to that. You hear that? It's like one of those wind-up toys. It's little yeah. strings on it. What's interesting is the sound comes from the air in their shell. It's not, it sounds like a hiss of a snake, but it isn't a hiss of a snake. What? And people say that if the, if the, we had a nuclear bomb, that these guys would live, that they're so hardy. So we should make a full armored suit out of cockroaches and you'll be fine, right? Maybe so. <laughs> they also have really neat hooks on their feet and they can actually crawl up glass. No way. Yep. Wait oh no, they got more this. stuff. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh guys. What? That's so cool. Obviously you guys recognize these tarantulas. Now tarantulas, they may look really big and scary, but to us humans, they're actually harmless. So okay. if this spider were to bite me, do you think I would die? I don't know. No. No. I don't want to find out. Would I would I cry like a baby? Yes. yes. I would cry like a man. <laughs> <laughs> now this one here, this is Big Mama. She's a girl spider. You can see how wow. big she is. She's a, called a white kneed tarantula. She gets her name from those little stripes on the white knees. Yeah. And because she's a girl, she's actually bigger and stronger than the boys. So, Usually is the case, right? Well, she's got a lot of hair all over her body and all the hairs on her legs will actually help her feel things around her, like an animal that has whiskers for feeling. You see all that hair, Nate? So, if you look at those right on, on the legs, but right back here, right there, she has these really soft hairs, so if they get Atta if they're attacked by an animal, they can rub these little hairs off and kind of throw them in the enemy's face, and they're very itchy. This is one of our favorites. Her name oh. is Rosie. Oh, Rosie. Different kind of tarantula. She oh, has oh, a rose a color <laughs> right there. <laughs> oh, man. That she gets her Thank name from. Thank you for doing that, Kat. You're that welcome. That was very nice of you. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've this is heard crazy. they have special eyes, John. Yes, right here, she has a cluster of eight eyes. 
So eight legs and eight eyes? Even though she has eight eyes, though, she can't really see that well compared to what we see. Maybe just shadows and things like that. Can they jump? Mm, it's a little late to be asking that. I know. <laughs> they, so that's a yes, I would say. They don't really jump. Okay, no. good, good, good. It's really hairy, like my dad. <laughs> it's really hairy like your dad? Yep. Like your big mama? We'll call your dad big mama from now on. <laughs> well, as long as you don't say it's hairy like your mom. There you oh, go. Yeah, yeah. And look how well they hold on. Whoa, oh. man. Like an acrobat. Or yep. I understand you guys brought something else. We do. Super cool. Let's see Check what we Check this got out, here. you guys. There you go. You know what that is, Nate? That's a scorpion. That's a scorpion. Is it like is it a giant scorpion? Well, no. that's a giant. That's what that's it is. a giant scorpion. <laughs> there, Whoa, man! There are two different kinds. This okay. is an emperor scorpion. Okay. And this one's called the flat rock scorpion. Okay. Wow. And the flat body of this one helps it squeeze into little places where they like to hide. Because even though they look pretty scary, most of the time yeah, they're man. just hiding. They don't want to bother anybody. Are these indigenous to New York City? These come from Africa. Okay, good. But there are good. scorpions all over the world in oh. different parts, but usually hotter claws. Never mind then. If you look at the claws, they have really big claws. That Huge means claws. it's going to have a pretty wimpy sting. So when they have those big claws, usually wimpy sting. And oh, oh geez, man. Just kidding. <laughs> it's really you totally we do got that me every time. Every time. Oh man. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Woo. The bigger the claw, the, bigger the, the less claws, the sting. Yep, and if it has thin uh. claws with a thick tail, then it's going to have a really bad sting. So maybe now, this guy? This one? Bad well, sting. take a look at the tail, though. Let's see on this guy. Don't do that. That's, so you see how thin this tail is? Almost yeah. like a long whip. Yeah, I see it. And see they, don't even, <laughs> they, don't, they don't even want to sting. So even if I bother this scorpion, yeah. it's not going to do anything. Do you want to try it? Uh, no, no, but I'll let you bother it. You want to bug? Just hey, go like this. Just like go like I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. But don't touch him, right? Yeah. I'm not touching you. You ever do that to your brothers or sisters? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's right. <laughs> wow, <laughs> look at this beauty. Man, man, are they enemies at all? Would they fight well, each other? Sometimes in deserts, scorpions eat a lot of other scorpions. Really? Half of what they eat, believe it or not. But oh, many, man. like this one, come from the rainforest. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, do you guys want to see if we can make them glow? Yeah. Glow. They glow, they glow in the dark? They glow, but you need a special light to do this. Do you guys want to see this? We have a special light called a black light. There we go. Thank you. You can do it. You guys can do this. Show me how they glow in the dark. We might have to turn on. Oh, look at that. No way. No way. Oh, they both glow. Check it out. Now, how? what makes them glow, man? Well, they have a protein in their skin. That helps them, that makes them glow, but nobody one. really knows what purpose it serves, for sure. Really? It's just one of those, those yep. things in nature that's it's, a mystery, Yeah, it's a right? little bit of a mystery, yeah. This is fantastic. This is unbelievable. One Thank more you. round of applause. Thank you guys so much. We'll come right back. When we come back, it's going to be a quick draw, and we're quick on the draw right now. Let's go, Nate.